I'll admit, this game is a bit weird to me already. I mean, it doesn't really have any uh, intro stuff. Like, he just goes through a very short, you know, load process where it's like, oh, Konami and all that stuff's involved, and then throws this at you without showing any gameplay footage or anything. It's kind of weird like that. Like, like, where is the usual stuff you see, man? Like, you think there'd be a song or something. Ages on Earth, when two stars meet, our king resurrects in order to bring to light the path that should be followed. Traditional song of the Dobie tribe. Eh, that's cool, I guess. Gotta wait for the comet, right? That announces the start of the Shaman King fight. Why are they showing her in blackface like that? Like... Like, we can already guess who this is based on the necklace we can see. It's Anna. I mean, come on. The Destiny Star. And why are they doing it with Yo? He's the main character. <sighs> Makes no sense. It's... It's what, so beautiful? Awesome. awesome? What, you trying to be like that guy from, a uh, Candidate for Goddess? It's awesome because it's awesome! The what star? Oh, now they're doing the Morty 2? <sighs> Shorty. Every 500 years, the Destiny Star circles the Earth. And brings upon us despair. Unless a shaman wins the Shaman King fight. The star of destruction following close behind, lurking in its shadow. To rain mass destruction and chaos all over the planet. Oh, well. Uh, then how come we never hear about it? Because most people don't realize the stars are magical, and shaman kings obviously you know work around the destruction. Rain destruction and chaos and stuff like in history class. Because each time the stars have come. There has also come a shaman who has risen to greatness by preventing the disaster and guiding the world to a positive destiny. Well, that's kind of relative, to be honest. The Shaman King! Exactly. You know what crazy shaman tournament stuff is all about? What else would it be about? Yeah, and the opening bell just sounded. I honestly don't know why they bother with setting all this stuff up because this game doesn't even follow the actual storyline that closely from our remember. The Shaman Tournament is about to begin. The winner of the tournament will be crowned Shaman King. By uniting with the great King of Spirits, the Shaman King will achieve a power like none other on Earth. All his wishes and desires will come true. If a noble Shaman with a pure heart wins, he or she will help maintain order and balance throughout the world. But, if a shaman of evil intent wins, he or she could use his powers to breed chaos and destruction. The future is uncertain. Ah, so it's a fight between the Jedi and Sith. Oh, so they're gonna show their faces? Except for Howe's a bit there, because his hair is in the way. <sighs> yeah, why doesn't this show up, you know, before the title screen pops up? You think it would, right? I mean, obviously it's an opening song bit, you know, into the game itself. You think it would be there. Of course, my big question is, is this song gonna get me in trouble with YouTube? Because you never know about stuff like that. I could probably skip it, but at the same time, I don't, because, you know, why not let it play? But I'm like, oh man, if this doesn't work out, I'm gonna have to go back and edit the video and just cut all this stuff in an attempt to avoid the problem. Huh. <sighs> That's gonna suck. Though I suppose YouTube can like sort of self-edit nowadays to just cut this stuff, but it's still annoyingly awkward. I had to do that with Xenosaga a while back, uh, two, where uh, like one of the early episodes, I had some stuff in there that she was like, "Well, this is copyright. Like, we can just delete it for you." So I ended up having to cut out a big section of the video showing some of the opening cutscene stuff just to avoid copyright issues. I suppose I could have tried editing around it by quieting those bits or something myself, but, eh. But yeah, hopefully I'm not gonna get in trouble over that short song bit. 
Oh, episode one. The Destiny Star. Oh no. The graveyard. This is the most relaxing spot in the world to meet Amaru. <laughs> hmm. Lost the voice acting already, huh? That just feels cheap. <laughs> What's up? You seem kind of bummed. I feel uneasy. Can't but wonder if my strength alone is enough to help us win the tournament. Well, to be honest, it's more about Yo's strength, not yours. Suddenly, I was worried it was something serious. It is serious, Yo. We don't even know what the tournament entails, so it's hard to know if we're as prepared as we should be. A samurai should always be prepared, especially prepared to fight ninjas. Damn crafty guys. One time saw one jump out of a matchbox. Can you believe it? Yeah, but... There's no sense in worrying about things we can't control, right? Let's just expect the unexpected. Yo, that makes no gosh darn sense. How can you expect the unexpected? I mean, come on. Ugh. Yeah, we'll manage. Let's hope you're right, Yo Asakura. Oh no! The unexpected caused unaware! Ooh. Who are you? Who is he? He's the judge. My name is Silva. And I am a warrior from the Grand Shaman Council. I am here to test you. And if you fail, you can't participate in the Shaman King Let's tournament. Hope you are prepared. Wait, prepare are for Are we? What? If you were half as prepared as a shaman fighter needs to be, you would have not have asked me for what. Oh man, laying down the smackdown already. You pass this test in order to qualify for the shaman tournament. If you do so, I will grant you your oracle bell. Which nowadays is basically a pager. The spirits will as they will, man. <laughs> Don't you mean my what? You're proof that you're an official participant in the Shaman Tournament. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, you must defeat me in battle. Oh, I get it. So it's like an entry test. Well, sign me up. Well, that's the spirit, at least. I neglected to mention that you only have ten minutes. Sorry, ancient customs and all. Now, before we begin, allow me to lecture you on how to battle. Oh, why not? From where you're standing right now, even if you try to attack me, you can't reach me. Therefore, you must first move towards me. Yep, the move command. Like, this game's really weird, because... Well, it's got turn-based uh, tactical elements going for it. You also have to consider, you know, the fact that you fight, you know, like it's a tournament fire with Yo, at least. Let's make sure we're facing him, at least. Gotcha. Within your range. Some shall have less range than others. You don't have to worry about that right now. Once you get your opponent within your range, you can select battle. Mmm. Yep. Don't have much of a choice. Move the cursor onto me and press the X button. Well, let's do it. Yes, there is a level up system involved. Let's begin. Let's go, Amidamaru. Okay. Remember, this is just a practice round, not the official entry test. First, you must learn the basic way to fight. Weak attacks, huh? Well, that's easy enough. Oh, I gotta keep doing it. Okay. Try using this for strong attacks. Ha, 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 ha. 
Yeah, really slow on that uh, swing there, aren't we? Next, we'll discuss guard. The block, unless you want to get hurt. Hmm. Strong attack broke it, maybe? That's good. Let's try jumping now. Press the X button to jump. Uh, same thing. That's lame. Next is dash. We'll get pressed forward twice. Uh, doesn't seem like much of a dash if you ask me. Well, jumping or dashing, you can press the attack button. Doing so will perform a dash attack or a jump attack. This is going to be a little difficult. If you're thrown or if you take big damage from an attack, you'll get knocked down. The guard at the same time you're knocked down, you can do a defensive fall. Try it. Ugh, not good. Eh, yeah, whatever. No. I'm not gonna try mastering defense. Twice on direction. You can evade your opponent's attacks. Do it consecutively, you'll continue to evade. Give it a shot. Bump. What? I didn't want to keep doing that. But be warned, it doesn't work against your opponent's throws. If your evading time is perfect, you can get behind your opponent. You'll have a huge advantage, but the timing is crucial. That allows you to unleash different techniques. To find out what techniques you can use, press the start button and check the technique list. Yeah, so try different things. This is the end of the basic fighting lecture. Well, I guess it's time to move into the actual fighting, right? Run in a fight, you gain experience points. Once your experience points reach a certain amount, you'll level up. You become stronger and sometimes learn new techniques. You can also earn strength points. Strength points will just strengthen your abilities. Wherever you desire on the status screen. So a little out of time, you can save them and use them all at once. Yeah, 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 but be warned. Strength points that you have already allocated cannot be taken back. Strategy goals. There are three strategy goals. Huh. Strategy goals indicates what you should do. You win the battle. If your opponent manages to fulfill your loss conditions, you lose, and your game is over. Yes, yes, keep an eye on items. First is immediate effect items. These sometimes appear when you destroy obstacles or objects during battle. They have various effects such as refilling your life or raising your defensive power, but don't get too excited. There's no guarantee that it'll always be something good. In fact, the immediate effect will sometimes be less than the desirable. So let's start. Well, no. Special, huh? Surrounding colleagues in the cell. Defense power times two. This lasts only during the next battle. Action does not end. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of friends nearby. But I'll give up some of my fur yuku to just power up my defenses. After all, I might as well, right? Yeah, at worst, it won't offer me any disadvantages, right? Well, now, I'll proceed to battle. Yes, let's. Ugh. Ugh. Man, I'm sucking. Gosh darn it. I was hoping I'd be able to do something useful with that. Okay. 41, huh? Gosh darn it. It's most impressive, but if that's all you have, you'll never get close to defeating me. 
What are you talking about? Civil Spirit Unity is just beginning. There's a more powerful way of fighting. More powerful way of fighting? Yo. Notice that strange light coming out of his body? Wait a sec. It's like there's something physical attached to his body. Can spirits become solid? Every spirit has its own power and its own energy, but to fight as one with it, it's not the same as fighting with it. I don't understand. Sarah is indeed a powerful warrior, but your samurai is not being tested. You are. You must find your Freyo and unleash your own power as a shaman. If you ever hope to defeat me. Hmm. Saying I'm not strong enough? I don't think so, it's me. Look, I need you to trust me. We're gonna beat this guy. We need to do things a little differently. You with me? Of course. Uh, technique list. Nothing too interesting. Oh, Celestial Slash. Well... I guess we're gonna have to... Phase end, maybe? I can't really do anything else. Let the enemy go, I guess. Because he's going to attack us again. <laughs> oh, I know you're up. I'm hoping to attack from three spaces away. Aren't you special? Well, spirit control. Hopefully we'll do a bit better this time. I fight for the pride of the Dobi people. Oh, I got my Furyuku back. Well, that's cool. My spirits, lend me your power. Hopefully I'll do a bit better this time. Gosh darn it. Okay. Get him on the counter there. Ugh, that sucked. Um, at least we got enough to level up, hopefully. But that was bad. Ugh, need to practice my fighting skills, man. Well, how'd I do? Yeah, I suppose I did. It's just not very strong. You have qualified for the Shaman Tournament. Here, take this. Now to explain all these bruises to my wife. <laughs> yes, the official entry pass. Now if only it was a hat, then it'd be cooler. But of course, every participant must have one. It's like a beeper we use to contact you. We used to use wind spirits to ring actual bells, but now we've gone wireless. Rogo Bell is your only connection to the Grand Shaman Council. It's how we contact you and give you information. Tells you your next opponent, the location and time of the next match, and various rules. And outcomes of battles, not only that, the will of the Great King of Spirits appears directly on the Oracle Bell. No way! The cycle or continues to spiral, and the Great Destruction is close at hand. Only it always tells me... A pure heart can save us from certain destruction. Good luck, Yo Asakura. May the Great King of Spirits watch over you. <laughs> yeah. Shandra, the great king of spirits. This totally rocks! Oh, yes. Level 2. Strength points plus 1, huh? S. I don't believe you, game. Well, at least we got some items, at least. Those might come in handy later. 
Well, no. Are you about to get yelled at by our wife? Because you probably sent us out for something. You really passed? Sure did. And here's the proof. Check it out. What is it? Where's dinner? Uh... What's that thing? Some kind of video game? It's... Kinda looks like a beeper. Oh boy. Uh, what difference does it make to you? Alright, she controls everything he does in his life. Who is she? And just got the crap kicked out of him. Poor yo. You must prove your innocence! Eh, whatever stuff. Eh, let's go, Amitamaru. Yo. Yo, Asakura. Now what? Oh no! What a cutie, huh? What the? You know, Ryo, that's really creepy when you say it. My toes feel like fireworks. There is another girl, just as I thought. It's not what... Who are you? Uh, yo? Well, Yo's dead. Guess we don't have to worry about the Shaman Tournament anymore. <laughs> Till next time, then. See ya.